How will we keep the people who run the system safe? Shawanda Bonner Morgan is a middle school teacher in Polk County. She has prediabetes and high blood pressure, making her vulnerable to the coronavirus. If we don't take care of the staff, that's the teachers, the bus drivers, people that work in the office and so on, um, we may end up having to close the schools or modify the schedules down the line. Chances are the kid getting very, very sick or having serious consequences is very low. But we can't say that about the teachers or the workers in the school, the vendors that come into the school. Florida's new order requires every school to open at least five days a week starting in August. We're in the middle of a raging pandemic here and we're telling everybody they got to go back to school. I mean, what could go wrong with that? Barry Dubin is the executive director of the Sarasota Classified Teachers Association. He's been working in education for 35 years. People are, are very worried about their health. Um, they either have sick kids at home, they have sick parents living with them, they have sick spouses. I mean, I've never seen so many concerns about health in my career. This online petition has more than 6,000 signatures asking the state to rescind the executive order. One person wrote, I love my job, but I'm not willing to die for it. In wanting to save the kids, I first got to make sure that I save myself so that I'm whole for them. The governor's office sent us a statement on this topic. You can read all of it right now on our website, but it says in part, quote, local school districts are encouraged to work with administrators, educators, school boards, and most importantly, local county health departments to create a safe, healthy, and productive learning environment for all.